Now let's talk about quadrants. In order to talk about quadrants, we need to talk about the plane. See that screen? It's pretty plain. In the plane, there's the x-axis. And there's the y-axis. A little crooked, but you get it. That's the x, and this is the y. What did that do? That separated the plane into four parts. Those four parts are called quadrants. The prefix quad means four. Anyways, this is the first one. Psh, psh. Why are they using Roman numerals? Because this stuff is old. That's quadrant one because the points are both plus, plus. This one over here is quadrant two. In quadrant two, the first component is minus, the second component is plus. That would make this one quadrant three, going in a counterclockwise fashion. Three. It's quadrant three, because here we see both of our components are negative. Now to be specific, a point over here would be something like mm, this one. Psh, 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 psh. That point would be minus one comma minus three. So we see that both of our components are negative in quadrant three. I'm trying not to put you to sleep. Let's look at quadrant four. Quadrant four, IV. Psh, psh. In quadrant four, the components, the X component is positive and the Y component is negative. And that's pretty much all I gotta say about quadrants, except what if a point lands, bam, right on the axis? If it's on the axis, one, two, three, four, five, six. That would be the point six. Oh, so if it right, lands right on the axis, which quadrant is it in? Is that one in one or four? That's in neither. If it's in neither, it's called quadrantal. I'm not even going to attempt to spell that. Okay, for your amusement. Q, U, A, D, R, A N T A L or E N T A L. Quadrantal. I don't know. Look it up. But if a point lands right on the axis, then it's quadrantal. Meaning not in a quadrant. Oh. That point minus one three, this one. Which quadrant is it in? It's in quadrant three. Okay, that's all. Bye now.